Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off round 4 for Group D. And in these matchups we will see Darius taking on Team Africa. Toka Nightmares going up against DBW's original gangsters. And Nopi taking on Chompstan. Ooh, a lot of exciting matches here. But we are going to start with Darius against Team Africa. And defeat here for Team Africa will all but end their chances of qualifying from the group stage. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Darius taking on Team Africa. At first for Darius we have Alexovasaurus. We definitely saw what Quake Saber did to Eucentrosaurus. It was a one hit KO. A good chance here for Darius to pull away from the bottom two. With a win. But in the blue corner for Team Africa, who will be fighting for their lives, we have an Aranosaurus. Why I say Team Africa will be fighting for their lives? It's because a defeat here could all but end their chances of qualifying from the group stage. Given that other results go certain ways. Ooh, not a good start for Team Africa. But, what I will say is that this Aranosaurus does have the type advantage, so it could be key for Team Africa, if they want to get a result today. However, what isn't key is that this Laxovasaurus keeps getting off the hits and attack boosts, which will pretty much negate the type advantage in a, in a sim, essentially. Oh, well, that's Aranosaurus dead. So much for the type advantage, as the Aranosaurus Gets dispatched fairly easily by Lexovasaurus. Alright, as for Team Africa's second dino, we have an Afrobinator. Hope, hopefully, for Team Africa's sake, this Afrobinator can pull it back because the Lexovasaurus, well, that hasn't even been hit. Okay, it's a tie, it's a tie. You know, Lexovasaurus finally taking damage. Ooh, the Afrovenator Team Africa finally getting off hits. But what Afrovenator really needs is a crit. Ooh, and he gets one! Stopping our Quake Saber, doing lots of damage to Lexovasaurus there. And this tie will not take out Lexovasaurus. Ooh, Lexovasaurus, oh, getting off a cheeky hit there. Dealing a decent amount of damage thanks to that attack boost, which I think is also maxed up as well. Oh, oh, well, the, the Frovenator did put up a fight, but the Lexovasaurus is on top again. Oh, this tie will not take out a Frovenator, but it will take out Lexovasaurus. So Darius still has a decent lead, but Team Africa finally got rid of that menace. As for Darius' second dino, we have a Eustrep the Spondylus. This is the beast that took out Toka Zeocarcaria. And it is not to be underestimated. <laughs> well, no surprise that you strap the Spondylus gets off the hit to finish off a Frovenator. And leave Team Africa down to their last dino. That dino being the Majungasaurus. The Super Majungasaurus. Okay, Awaken Mode on four. And I think it's going to need that Awaken Mode if Team Africa wants to get back in this match. Well, you won't get back in the match if you strip the spawn and this gets a crit, is it? Is it? Although, because you strip the spawn and this moves a balance, the crit doesn't do as much damage as Lexovasaurus is dead. Ooh, Dino Illusion will definitely help. Okay, that's twice. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh. 
Ooh, Majungasaurus getting off a crit. Ooh, but you strep the Spondylus' Dino Illusion has been activated. Okay, that's three times. Next time, he'll be Awakening time. And here comes Awakening mode. Well, let's get this Dino Illusion over with first. Ooh, could that be a turning point? You strep the Spondylus no longer has the protection of Dino Illusion, whereas the Majungasaurus does. Ooh, could Team Africa come back? Darius down to the third dino, that dino being the Ampelosaurus. Is Team Africa coming back? Or can Darius finish off and stop the comeback? Well, I will say, Team Africa definitely not going down without a fight. And they still have that dino illusion, so even when Darius... Or if Darius gets a hit, it will not, it will not do any damage. And well, here comes our Dino Illusion. Definitely stopping Team Africa there from losing. Well, at the minute. One hit from Amplosaurus will do it. Ooh, not, oh, hang on. Nope, I thought Tire Attack would do it, but nope. Any hit from the Amplosaurus will do it now. And here comes our hit. Um, I think Darius might have got a bit nervous there, because the Majungasaurus did have some momentum, but the Ampelosaurus came in to finish the job and give Darius a win. Three points on the board for Darius, and I think that will all but eliminate Team Africa from the group stage. I mean, well, it depends on how the other matches go first. Right, we'll update the table and we'll move on to our next matchup. Alrighty then. Up foot in this matchup, we see Toka Nightmare taking on DBW's original Nightmares. Up first for Toka, we have Alexovasaurus. Well, after a slow, well, I'd say unlucky start from Toka, there is a chance here for Toka to book their place in the last 32, should they get a bonus point win over DBW. As for DBW, we have a T Rex. A win or a bonus point win will not be enough for DBW, but it will keep pressure on Toka in the next round and it will set up DBW nicely to qualify from the group stage. Can Toka turn their bad luck around or can DBW hammer home? Um, I think DBW is going to be hammering home. A blazing spin attack, the worst possible start for Toka. I, I should just say, if you get if Toka gets eliminated from the groups, bloody hell, almost killed it! I mean I'm not surprised. If Toka gets knocked out of the group stage, like it's nothing to do with their team. Like they, they have a good team. However, they just don't seem to have the fortune. And because of that, the T-Rex will give DBW a 1-0 lead. Well, Lexovasaurus lasted for about 2 seconds. Okay, up next for Toka, we have a Eucentrosaurus, a Super Eucentrosaurus. Well, this guy has also been underwhelming for Toka. Dying in one hit against the Lexovasaurus in a previous matchup. And he'll probably die in one hit to the T-Rex if the T-Rex gets off Blazing Spin again. Okay, Awaken Mode on three. Oh, oh, another Firebomb coming from the T-Rex. DBW's in complete control of this match. But do not count Toker out yet because we have the Omega Eocarcaria, which seems to have zero technique. Oh, finally, finally Toker gets a hit. Here comes a Thunder Bazooka. Okay, that's twice. One more and it'll be awakening time and that can be just what Toka needs to get back in this match. Ooh, another Thunder Bazooka. Well, DBW was on top early on, but Toka is definitely fighting back. Now, the best case scenario for Toka here would be like two draws. So then the T-Rex would die. Ooh. Oh, it's a Dino Stuffer! No crit for Toka, and the T-Rex still lives. How 
How massive could that moment be? DBW stopping the momentum there. And can he take a 2-0 lead? The answer is no. But despite that dino stuffer, Toka still has the momentum at the minute. Free Thunder Bazookas to take out the T-Rex. Okay, up next for DBW, we have a Lambiosaurus. Toka coming back in this match after a poor start. But it won't be easy to take out this beast. As it does pack a punch. And Eucentrosaurus is on very low health. And there's no counter blitz to save it. Yep, it's Tata Eucentrosaurus. And the Metal Wing comes in from the Lambiosaurus. So DBW will still have a 2-1 lead. Okay, as for Toka's third and final dino, we have an Omega Armor, Eocarcaria. Will it get off Heat Eruption? Will it get off Volcano Burst? Will it get off Flare Sword? The answer to that is probably no. I mean, look at that, that's a thousand technique. Actually, it actually doesn't gain any technique from those moves. That's interesting. I feel like that's probably a mistake of to on Toka's part, then, of having Volcano Burst and Flare Sword. Maybe have, like, Burning Dash instead. Just go all go more, have Magma Blaster, and then have them both. But it is Toka's goal. Uh, not too much damage dealt, though, you. But Eocarcarius, not phased by that one bit. However, it will be phased by this big metal wing coming from DBW. I wouldn't count Toker out yet though, because one Omega Phoenix can change everything. Okay, here we go. Eocarcaria gets a hit. Ooh, what we got here? We got a Flare Sword for once. I think that might be the first ever Flare Sword that Toker's got off in this tournament. Maybe the second, actually. But that is history in the making. Could that be a sign of the turning point for Toker? Um, no. What I will say, though, is because Toka lost their first two dinos, they can no longer guarantee their place in the last 32. They'll have to do more in the next round to make it official. Ooh, a crit from Eocarcaria. And what is this? It's a Volcano Burst. Well, even though Toka's probably going to lose this match, I will say that, that at least the Eocarcaria is getting off Flare Swords and... Volcano Burst. Now we just need Heat Eruption. We'll have the whole set. Okay, yep. Yeah, the the Eocarcaria is going down. Oh, it's not. Oh, that was a huge surprise. I thought it would die there. But nope. Toka hanging on by a thread. Oh, it is game over though for Toka. And a bonus point win for DBW. How massive could that be? Because actually... If Toka had got a bonus point win, and Nopi had won the next matchup, that would have been DBW eliminated from the group stage. But instead, DBW still in with a shout. Right, update the table, or we'll move on to our final match of this video. Alrighty then, in this matchup, we see Nopi taking on table top in Chompster. Okay, up first for Nopi, we have Tank, and we've definitely seen what this thing can do. A little bit faulted in the last round, Nopi, against Toka. But can Nopi bounce back here against Chompstan? A win here for Nopi will secure their place in the last 32. As for Chompstan in the blue corner, we have a Uteraptor. A win for Chompstan here, I think we'll pretty much guarantee that they will top Group D. Oh, <laughs> and you wouldn't bet against Chompstan winning the group anyway. Brexit! But Nopi is not one to be underestimated, as we've definitely seen how deadly he can be. Oh, that's another tie. 
Ooh, Chompstan getting the first hit. But Tank is super defense type, so it won't take too much damage. Ooh, ooh, this could be interesting. Will Cyclone cancel out the Crystal Crusher? Or will Crystal Crusher cancel out Cyclone? I kind of want to find out. Ah, oh, we're not going to find out. Oh, well, but at least the Uteraptor uh, got the hit. And not looking good for Nopey so far. A slow start again. Oh, now it's a tie. <laughs> oh, oh, well, Chompstan's going to race into a 1-0 lead. Oh, no, he's not. The tank is still alive, but the Cyclone will tighten his screw on this match. Oh, there's a tie, but because of Cyclone, the Uteraptor will get the hit, and Chompstan will get the lead. Alright, up next for Nopi, we have Super Duper Chomp. Nopi made such a strong start in this tournament, but seems to have faltered as of late. Can he pull this back against Chompstan, or can Chompstan run away with it? Okay, wake the mode on three. Oh my god, wow, there's Nopi even got a hit yet. Well, I think that's a no. Tornado Toss coming from the Uteraptor, and it's going to do a lot of damage. Okay, once. Okay, finally Nopi gets a hit, and I think that's a recovery. Yeah, not too much health gain, but a little bit. Okay, that's twice. Oh, that's a tie. And that's another tie. And that's an oh dear, that's Tornado Toss. And that's a 2 0 lead for Chomp Stan. And there'll be no awakened mode for Chomp. Nopi not looking good in this match. But at third for Nopi, we have an Isosaurus. This beast could be tough to take down. But what I will say is that it will be at a tight disadvantage against Chompstan third dino. So it'll be a really good opportunity here for Chompstan to wrap the group up. Okay, the Uteraptor finally died. The Isosaurus making quick work of it. And there's a defense boost there which could help Nopi win this match. Well, come back from this match. And this will definitely help Nopi. A Carcharodontosaurus which will be at a tight disadvantage against that Isosaurus. Could that be key? Oh, that's a tie. That will suit Chompstan more. Ooh, the Isosaurus getting off the hit. Another defense boost coming in. Nopi coming back in this match. Of course, one hit from Chompstan can change all that. And here comes that hit. A light recovery to boot as well. But because of our defense boost and super defense type of Isosaurus, not much damage was dealt. Mm, Cryo coming in for light recovery and an Aqua Whip as well. Lots of damage coming, Kakiradontosaurus is way. Nopi definitely putting up a fight. Ooh, how big could that be? 
A fire cannon from Kakirodontosaurus! But wow, even the crit and it didn't do that much damage. Oh, but this volcano burst will make up for it. Oh, that's a tie. Can Chomp Stan hold on for the bonus point? The answer to that is no. Okay, as for Chomp Stan's third and final dino, we have a Triceratops. A stone cold gold ray normal Triceratops. And well, I can't see I can't see um, Chomp Stan losing this match now. I mean one hit from the Triceratops will finish it. Hell, even a tie might even do it. Oh, well, a tie won't do it. Yeah, that's Chomp Zan's win. No, he definitely put up a fight there. But, the start cost no be there. And Chomp Stan will claim all three points. And will claim top spot in Group D. Very impressive. Right, I'll update the table and we'll end the session. Well, look, a Group D all of us, and I, t I tell a lie, Chomp Stan hasn't won Group D. Well, not just yet. I mean, Darius can still win Group D if they win their matchup in the final round. But, Chomp Stan and Darius have definitely booked their place in the last 32. And then we have Nopey and DBW on 7 points. Still got a bit of work to do these two. I mean, Nopey's above DBW because Nopey won their matchup. And then in the bottom two, we have Toka Nightmare on four points, who's having a real nightmare this time. And then Team Africa, who are actually eliminated with Zip. Wow, still a lot, of play, lot to play for here, especially between these three. Uh, let's have a look at the final round. So, ooh, a big opportunity for Toka against Team Africa. A bonus point win for Toka will put them above Nopi and DBW. And then it's one bit, so it's Darius taking on Nopi. Good opportunity for Nopi to get back to winning ways. It, things have kind of faltered a bit for Nopi in recent matches. And then we have DBW taking on Tabletop in Chomp Stan. So yeah, I feel bad for Toka because they've had such rotten luck in this tournament. I mean, some people lose because they lose, but Toka's lost because they're unlucky. But... You know, never mind. So, that's going to end this session. So stay tuned for next time where we'll do round four for Group E. That'll be interesting, won't it? And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.